I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to find equation of a perpendicular bisector of a segment. The question here is find equation of a line that is a perpendicular bisector of a segment AB with endpoints A at 5, 2 and B at 7, 4. So let me first sketch the segment and then explain what we are trying to figure out. Point A is 5, 2, that means 5 and 2, that is point A. Point B is 7, 4, 7, 4 will be this point. So the line segment given to us is AB. Let me join this segment. And we need to find perpendicular bisector of this particular segment. Now perpendicular bisector really means that bisect means it will go through a point which is right at the center of this segment and perpendicular means it is going to be at right angles to the segment AB. So we have to find equation of this line. So that's the whole idea. So for this first let us use the midpoint formula to find the center of the segment AB. Now the midpoint formula is that the midpoint of AB AB is actually equals to average of their x and y values. So average of x values, let me write down the formula first, which is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. Those are the x coordinates. And y1 plus y2 divided by 2 is the y coordinate. <coughs> so using the formula, we get the midpoints at 5 plus 7 divided by 2 and 2 plus 4 divided by 2. So the coordinates for the midpoint, let me call this point S capital M A B, midpoint of segment A B is 5 plus 7 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6 and 2 plus 4 is 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 6, 3 is the midpoint of the segment. Now we need to find equation of line that is perpendicular bisector that means it will go through the midpoint and its slope will be negative reciprocal of AB that is the slope should be such that when it is multiplied with the slope of AB you get minus 1. So let's find slope of AB. So let's use the slope formula now. So the slope formula is let us say M is the slope in that case M is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now the coordinate points here are x1, y1 is equal to 5, 2 for us and x2, y2 is equal to point B which is 7, 4. And therefore we get the slope using this formula as 4 minus 2 divided by 7 minus 5 that is 2 over 2. Let's simplify it. So after simplifying we get slope as 1, right? So apply the formula and simplify. So we get slope of AB. Now perpendicular bisector slope should be minus 1. Now slope of the perpendicular line will be negative reciprocal of this which is minus 1. And the reason for this is that if I multiply these two slopes, then I should get minus 1. So in this case, the slope of the line AB is 1, right? So we get 1 times minus 1 is indeed equals to minus 1. So that means the line with slope minus 1 will be perpendicular to AB. This we get from perpendicular postulate. Now we need to find equation of the perpendicular bisector that means a line which has slope of minus 1 and which passes through the midpoint MAB right. So, so we are given 
slope now as minus 1 of the perpendicular bisector and it goes through the point which is midway between A and B and that point is 6, 3. So we can use slope intercept form or we can use point slope form to get the equation. So let us use point slope form. That is y minus y1 equals to m times x minus x1. Correct? So the y value is 3, x value is 6. So we get y minus 3 is equals to slope of minus 1 times x minus 6. And that gives us the equation y equals to minus x. Let's simplify this. Plus 6 plus 3. So, so from here we get our final answer which is, let me write it here, y equals to minus x plus 9. So that is the equation of the line which is perpendicular bisector of the given line, right? So that is the line which we can draw here kind of like this. It will have y intercept at 9 and this is negative x, negative 1 as the slope. I hope that helps to understand all the steps. So let's go through the steps once again. To find a perpendicular bisector or a right bisector of a segment, first step is to find the midpoint of the given segment. Then you find slope of the given line. And the negative reciprocal of that slope will give slope of perpendicular line. Use the slope and the midpoint to find the equation of right bisector. So this is right bisector or perpendicular bisector. Okay, either way. So that is how you get your equation. I hope it helps. Thank you.